sitting so far from the camera so that you cannot see how sweaty I am. I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to another slow fashion video. Today's focus on travel essentials, what I would recommend always bringing with you. These are the items that absolutely saved me that I will not travel without. And I've got a little list of all the things that I wish I had brought with me as well. I just spent the last three weeks in Italy, two weeks on Sardinia and one week in Milan. I have had the incredible privilege and pleasure of traveling frequently and for long periods of time. I always do it in a carry-on. I'm gonna link some of my carry-on videos up here for you. But today I really wanted to do it a debrief on everything that I packed. I will leave that packing video up here for you. If you like this kind of content, Italy, slow fashion, then uh, stick around. You might like the channel. My name's Alyssa. I talk about choosing creativity instead of consumption. Let's get to these lists. I'm gonna start with the items that really came through for me that were the absolute workhorses when I travel. A lot of these I've probably repeated. And the first item, <laughs> is my button-up shirts, particularly my Power of My People linen button-up shirts. I'm wearing a Power of My People today. Power of My People is a fantastic slow fashion Canadian company who I've been working with since the inception of my channel about seven years ago. This isn't sponsored. I have worked with them before in the past. I do have a discount code, which I will leave for you below. The linen in these shirts is just so beautiful and solid that when I'm traveling, I like how they keep their shape. I like how they're really off the body and yet feel still tailored and elevated enough for me to wear at the beach, but also in the city. You know, I traveled once without my button up shirt and I regretted it. Now I know not everyone is a fan of the button-up shirt, but perhaps it's about finding something that is just as versatile for you. The versatility in the button-up comes from that feeling of being both tailored but relaxed, being able to wear it open, tucked in, tied, backwards, whatever you want. My silk scarf is the next piece that I love to travel with in the summer. Something that is big enough to also be worn as a top. This one here is a vintage Gucci. Last summer when I was on Sicily, I brought a vintage just red and white stripe. Both of these came in super, super handy, whether it was tying them to the strap of my purse just for an added touch of flair and personality because a lot of my travel capsule was just neutrals and basics, or I wore them both as tops uh, several times. And especially when you're in Italy, you know, when, when style is absolutely paramount, if you want to feel sort of more comfortable in your surroundings, I think a silk scarf is such an easy, low effort, but high impact way to do this. My next, you've heard me chat about these before and you've likely seen them over on Instagram, my Emmy Parsons sandals. Last year I traveled with two pairs of M.A. Parsons sandals. This year the exact same pairs. I love them. I will continue to love them. I travel with the Barry sandal, which in my opinion is like an elegant version of a Birkenstock. I love how it's got really, really great support. And then the second M.A. Parsons sandal, which I find is a really nice substitute for a heel. If you don't want to travel with a heel, if you don't love wearing heels, this one is called the String. And again, it's just so elegant, so chic. I could wear it with dresses, with trousers. I could wear it to dress up my denim shorts or just like a simple pair of khaki shorts. So these were just a really, really beautiful sandal that I love to travel with. And the reason why I like both of these M.A. Parsons sandals is the way the straps cut across the top of the foot. They don't cut across horizontally, so they're not chopping off the visual line of my leg. This is just my personal preference. I love the look of a long leg and I don't like to interrupt that proportion. That's why I really appreciate those diagonal strap placements on the M.A. Parsons sandals. Oh my gosh, this next one really, really surprised me. My Cezanne basket bag. I will link as many of these things down below. A lot of them are older, but because they're classics, they're always repeated. This was my first time traveling uh, with a basket tote. I would always look at other 
women and travelers on the beach or, or in these beautiful Italian settings and they always had a basket bag and I was like man like it's so pretty but is it practical this one from Cezanne is just so great the straps are adjustable I know a lot of times we're worried about theft because there's no zipper there's no closure I think you just have to be extra aware I was also not traveling in high high seasons but that being said like travel with whatever makes you feel most comfortable the basket weave itself and the leather straps and the silhouette is very classic and minimal it worked in both a beach and an urban setting so this was a huge huge win for me and to be completely honest i'm back in canada i'm still using this quite often next also not surprising my monica vinder jewelry i've been working with monica vinder for a while and again like none of this is sponsored i just tend to find brands that i like if i'm lucky they continue working with me but even if that doesn't happen i continue to wear them over and over again and shop them over and over again because that's just how i manage my closet the monica vinder jewelry that i brought a really good solid pair of hoops i brought two necklaces one which was mixed with my heirloom pieces brought some of their rings their dome rings and I just liked how all of these items are totally stackable they look great if you wear just one piece at a time great if you want to build and you want a more bold or dramatic look I only brought what I could wear with me on the plane even when I was wearing really basic or very functional and utilitarian outfits I still felt like I had my own style personality coming through Next is my Day Owl backpack. I had it for a few years. It was gifted to me because more and more I work while I travel or while I'm on vacation. It has become more important that I travel with a backpack that can protect all of my technical gear. And I have to say, I love the many pockets it has. I love that no matter how much I stuff it with, it still looks and feels sleek and minimal. So it's what I take with me as my personal item when I carry on and then I have my little white suitcase to go with it as well. If you're traveling in the shoulder seasons in Italy, I would definitely make sure you bring yourself a merino sweater. I'm really happy with how I packed this time around. The first a pair of flats. I so strongly debated bringing my cute little pointed patent Repetto baby blue flats and I am sad that I did not. Okay, I mean, look, there are worse things in life. A pair of flats would have served me very well, particularly because it was chilly and I just like a closed toe shoe when it's chilly. Both on Sardinia would have been good. Also in Milan. I figured I would wear my sneakers mostly in Milan, but like my sneakers aren't beautiful. They're my running shoes. Like they're my actual running shoes. They're not like a cute pair of sneakers. I didn't feel the most chic in my running sneakers. So a pair of flats would have been great. A second pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses take up no space and yet they can fully alter a look. From now on, I'm gonna always bring two pairs of sunnies, a more sort of functional, easy pair, and then a more glamorous and bold pair. As I mentioned in my last video about Italian style, sunglasses are truly a staple, staple piece for feeling and looking your best in the in the absolute heat. Next up, a belt. I have this incredible co-creation with my friends over at Brave Leather and uh, I did not bring one of my own co-designed belts. I regretted it because I think a belt can instantly add some shine, some texture to your look, especially for the portion where I was in Milan. I really could have used something to add a little bit more refinement. Much like a pair of sunnies, it's a small accessory that can alter a look completely. And that's what you need when you travel. Finally, more dresses. The two weeks on Sardinia, okay, every day was pretty much a beach day. I literally wore this one really, I'm, not, I'm gonna say it, shabby looking cover up. It's the only swim cover up I own and thank God I threw it in my suitcase at the last minute because I wore it pretty much every day. I just figured I'd wear my denim shorts to the beach every day with a button up, but it's too humid for that. Definitely on my list are sundresses, more casual ones for the beach, but then also more 
just elevated ones for day. I hope you find it helpful. I hope if you are taking some time to relax and recharge that wherever you go and whatever you do, you enjoy it. I'm just so grateful that you're here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you learned something new or if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll be back in another slow fashion video. Ciao.